Hey guys, I'm Kale Whitaker with i25 Kia, Colorado's only five-star Google rated dealership. And I'm here with you today to go over something that's really cool and that's Apple CarPlay, something you can find in new Kia models. So I'm gonna go over what all you can find, what all you can do, and some of the features that I found to be the most useful or at least notable. I should also say that your iPhone should be up to date with the latest iOS update, just so you can get the smoothest and best experience with Apple CarPlay. Beta versions of iOS also work as well. First of all, I just wanna say that using Apple CarPlay is extremely simple and quite intuitive. And just about everyone who is acclimated with their iPhone or Apple mobile devices in general should find this pretty straightforward. So Apple CarPlay works by connecting your phone via USB straight into your vehicle. Once you do that, you will see a blue stripe on your phone, meaning that your phone is officially connected to your vehicle via Apple CarPlay. Once you do that, the Apple CarPlay menu option will appear on your vehicle screen so you can enter the menu from there. From there, we see a clear view of the apps, the status of your signal strength and the home button. We have the phone app, music, Apple Maps, Messenger, Now Playing, Kia, Podcasts, Audiobooks, and select music streaming apps from your iPhone that work with CarPlay. Selecting the phone will prompt a Siri command to call anyone in your contacts, or you can select Show Contacts to access the entire menu from your phone, from recent calls, to the number pad, to even your voicemails. Music opens up your music library to have a clean view of what you'd like to play from your phone to your vehicle. And whether you're listening to music, a podcast, a streaming service, or an audiobook, when you select the Now Playing app, it will open up whatever's currently playing or whatever was playing so you can browse, change songs, pause or play, and do whatever you want from there. Maps opens up with how to get home if you're not already there, and then you can access other Maps functionalities, which might be a lot easier than the built-in Kia Nav if you're already used to the ones on your phone. Messages also gives you a Siri prompt and you can view who you've last texted, but you can't actually read any of the text since that would be pretty distracting. But what you can do is use Siri to audibly create a text, have it read back to you, and have it sent on its way. You will also be asked if you'd like to hear any new messages if you have any unread when opening the app. The Kia app acts as a home button to get back to your vehicle's functionality, but you can always select Apple CarPlay to get back to the CarPlay menu. Just like your iPhone, holding down the home button does prompt Siri, which you can use for a lot of the basics. But when it comes to searching up random things or using those fun, quirky things that we all know Siri can do, those options have been nulled since those would be distracting while driving anyways. Lastly, I'd like to note that both CarPlay and your phone do mirror each other while in use, whether your phone is locked or unlocked. As long as the app is both available for your phone and CarPlay, both will react simultaneously. Whether whatever is currently playing, maps, or even whoever you just last sent a message to, the conversation will be open on your phone. All in all, there are a ton of amazing features with Apple CarPlay, which allow you to look at your phone a whole lot less while on the road, use a different voice system than the built-in one if you prefer Apple's, and get a greater use out of Siri since there is a lot of Siri functionality with Apple CarPlay. Want to try this out yourself? Come on down to i25 Kia, found on i25 Exit 240, or online at i25kia.com, where you can schedule a free 24-hour home test drive so you can try this out from the comfort of your own driveway.